everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com and today I'm going to be taking a viewer question from Victoria at the West Bloomfield Township Public Library. Thank you for writing in, Victoria. She had a great um, question. She is getting ready for summer reading 2022, like many of you are, I bet. And um, she's part of a Michigan library which has access to the collab collaborative summer library program. And of course they have graphics available for summer reading. So she wanted to know, should I use those graphics or should we make our own? I have a very definitive answer for this question. And to get there, I'm gonna kind of take you through some considerations that your library may wanna make as you are thinking about the, de the decision whether to use a national graphics package or to create your own. So first I wanted to show you what the Collaborative Summer Library Program graphic looks like. This is just a little screenshot from their website. The theme is Oceans of Possibilities. Cute, pretty cute graphics. Everything is animated. Not animated, it doesn't like actually move around, but it's all like this cartoon kind of look to it. Um, and it's tied to a book, so I really love it. But should you use it? So the number one thing you need to ask yourself as you're looking through a package like this is does the artwork serve your community? Do people who look at this artwork, can they see themselves in it? Does it speak to your particular community, the age group, the, um, the income level of the folks that you serve, um, the lifestyle of the folks that you serve? Does this National Graphics Package speak to them? That's one thing that you need to consider. The next thing you need to think about is if that artwork clashes or matches your own library's branding. If your library has a pretty flexible branding package and you can kind of work in a lot of different looks, then you're going to have a, good, a better um, integration of these national packages than somebody who's got very strict branding guidelines and that's really going to depend on what um, the policies of your library are. So that's something to take into consideration. But I really think this third point is the biggest and most important one of all. If you end up making your own designs, is graphic design an effective use of your library's time and resources? And honestly, for most libraries out there, the answer to this is going to be no. And I say that coming from a large library I used to work for, and we made our own graphics package every single summer, and it took months. And the company that I work for does graphic packages for summer reading for our library clients. And it's they've been working on it since December. Now they'll release them in March, I think. So that's four months of work. For most libraries in the United States especially, they're small and medium sized, they're rural. You do not have the time to put into this kind of graphic design work. So it is better to use those large national packages and use your energy and resources for other things like actually implementing your program and making it cool and doing programs and thinking about how you're going to market it and getting your prizes in order and all of those things. So that's my bottom line. I think it's good to use those national packages. Do you agree with me? And have you decided on a theme for your library summer reading? What is it? Let me know down in the comments of this video. You can also go to superlibrarymarketing.com and click on the Library Marketing Show tab to suggest a topic like Victoria did for a future episode or to nominate someone for kudos. And this week, our kudos go to the Geauga County Public Library. It's a little difficult to see on this particular graphic, but I'm going to put a link to this tweet down in the show description. I started a thing on Twitter called Library of the Day. It's a hashtag um, because I have so many libraries that I wanna call out for doing great things. And Geauga County is just one of them. They um, turned a letter that they received from a patron who um, turned in an item very, very late. They turned it into a great Twitter post and I just thought they deserve some recognition for that. So you certainly can nominate libraries for Library of the Day for kudos going to superlibrarymarketing.com and clicking on the Library Marketing Show tab. I'd also really love it if you share this video with people working in libraries, if you would like it, um, if you would comment on it, that would be great. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.